everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. Today we're putting the emphasis on Kia, but not Hyundai. No. What are we filming today? Genesis. Genesis. So we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of the Kia EV6 GT. This is our high-performance EV, 576 horsepower and 545 pound-foot of torque to be exact. Ooh. And we're putting it head-to-head -head with the Genesis GV60, also the performance model. So this is another high horsepower, high torque, high performance, and high luxury vehicle. Yes. So today, what are we going to walk through? What are we going to talk about? We're going to look at comparing these two, right? <laughs> yeah. So really, and uh, you guys will be surprised at some mm -hmm. of the stats that are going to be shared, but you, you look at the comparison between these two very close, yes. very close. We'll talk a little bit about, obviously, our personal driving experiences. Yeah. I mean, you've driven this, I drove to Genesis, um, and just a little bit of features here and there that make them different from each other. Yeah. Of course, this is a live video, so if you are new to our channel, we go live every single weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some days we have to go a bit later, but we'll always keep it posted. Um, we also have three dealerships and three reasons why we do these videos. So number one, you may own a Kia or Hyundai vehicle. We want to make videos to enhance your ownership experience. Yes. Number two, you may be in the market for a vehicle, and we definitely would love you to add Kia and a Hyundai um, to your selection list, and maybe today a Genesis. Yeah, maybe a Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> and then number three, if you do land on a Kia or Hyundai vehicle, and you do want to purchase one, and you live in Ontario, three other reasons, we want you to buy from one of our stores. So we have Brantford Kia, Brantford Hyundai, and Owen Sound Hyundai. Now we also sell used vehicles as well, and the Genesis is actually one of our used vehicles at our Brantford Hyundai location. Yes, 2023 used. 2023 <laughs> used, with I think 3,000 kilometers on it? Yes, yep. yes. So it's actually for sale if you are considering a Genesis EV. Um, I will show you guys how to join our live videos if you are watching in the future. If you want to skip ahead um, and get into the walk around, skip to around the three or four minute mark if you are watching this in the future. But if you want to learn, you got to go to our YouTube channel, which is called the Kia Hyundai channel. Under either home or live on these tabs, you'll see today's video and it says upcoming. If you refresh it at 2 p.m. or after, that upcoming will turn into live. And all you have to do is click on the video. It'll load you in as you would a regular video. The only difference is this is real time. So we're actually here right now filming this video. We might make a mistake. Our phone may die. You never know. And we also have this live chat box on the right side where you can um, ask us questions, make any comments about the vehicle. If there's something that you want us to go over specifically, you can let us know and we can read this and check it back out. So now let's uh, go take a let's look. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> we have both of these vehicles on, of course, with EVs. We can leave them running in our dealership and not have to worry about smoking the dealership out. <laughs> or passing out. <laughs> yeah, or, or passing out, you know. <laughs> so they're both on right now. We wanted to show you guys the headlights. So both of these vehicles come with full LED headlights, um, daytime running lights, and tail lights. Now they do have very, very different styles. You'll see in the Genesis, I think it looks a little bit more bubbly, um, yeah. and of course more, a little bit more luxurious. You can't really tell it's a sport model though. It just looks like a very, very luxurious EV SUV. Now, when you look at the Kia EV6, it has a very aggressive look to it. It has a lot more sharp, um, drast lines. And I personally like the styling a bit better. Mike, how do you feel? Oh, uh, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Kia styling is... Uh, you like it more? Yeah, you know wow. what? It is too. Yeah, I know. I know that was a surprise for me to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know what? It's like, look at how mean that looks, right? Mm -hmm. Just right here. You know, just like... <laughs> it looks just so it's aggressive, sharp, eh? like someone is, you know, like just, you know, making that mean yeah. face, your eyebrows are tilted down. Um, but two totally different looks. If it's, it's all preference. I like a sportier look, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I do like the, the lights on. The, it's so hard. I, I like this because of the aggression yeah. from, from like the windshield down. But I do like this, the headlights on this one better. And at first glance, it may look like these vehicles are completely different. And style-wise, they absolutely are. Even feature-wise, you're going to get much more refined features in the Genesis, I'll say, a more premium sound system, more premium leather seating, and even a kind of massage or relaxation mode for the seats. Now, these are the same vehicle mechanically. They both share a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. Range is a bit different and horsepower and torque are a bit different. However, these are very, very high numbers as they are both performance SUVs. EVs. <laughs> um, I will also point out that they're both all-wheel drive. The EV6 GT has an all-electric um, drive range of 332 kilometers, and then for the Genesis, we have 373 kilometers of all-electric range. So both of them are on the lower side for our EV6 platform or the Genesis GV60 platform, and that's due to the increased power in these vehicles. 
So I'll point that out. We'll do a full walk around of the EV6 GT first, and then we'll take a look at the uh, Genesis. So this is our steel matte gray paint color. It is a matte finish. We just got this paint protected, and the paint protection film is also matte, so you can't even tell there's anything on it. For the wheels, we have 21 inch machine finished alloy wheels with these bright neon green brake calipers. These brakes are much more powerful than the regular EV6 brakes um, because with great power comes great stopping abilities <laughs> or there should be great stopping abilities. This thing is seriously machine. Now we have cameras. I was about yes. to say we have mirrors. Every car has that. But we have a full 360 camera view on this vehicle. So there's a camera in the front in the grill. There's cameras on the side mirrors. And there's, of course, a camera in the back. Now, the Genesis shares this technology as well. Both of them have crystal clear cameras. So they win on the safety standpoint, that's for sure. Both of them have automatic door handles. So they'll pop up when you're in proximity or if you have the car unlocked. And same with the mirrors. They'll fold in and they'll fold out. So power electric mirrors. Now, we'll come along to the back. Trunk-wise, they have just about the same amount of space. I do have to say, I was talking to Pat about this earlier, I love the rear end of the EV6 more too. <laughs> I think it just looks much more sharp, much more sporty, but however, styling is something that's subjective, so you guys may completely disagree with me. Yeah, I like the, see, I like the Genesis. Do you? <laughs> uh, better, I, yeah, I just like how it's, you know, I don't know. Take the back of that and put it on this, I and I'm happy. I just love the wraparound tail light, like how it goes across the yeah, entire back yeah. of the vehicle. I think that looks really good. So this is what our trunk area looks like. Um, it's quite spacious. I know it doesn't look like this on camera because it's all black and it's very dark in here, but there's a lot of room. And one thing I do like about the EV6 that's not included in the Genesis are these handles that are located in the trunk. So all you have to do is pull this and it'll knock your rear seats down. It's super easy mm -hmm. and that makes it easy to put whatever you need to get in your back without opening your doors and folding the seats down from the side. So that's one of the small benefits of this vehicle. Um, we also have LED lighting back here. Under the floorboard, we have, of course, our mobility kit. Both of these vehicles do not come with a real spare tire. They'll have mobility kits. And then we have just our um, level one charger as well. Close this up. It's a power tailgate. Both of these vehicles share that feature. And then we'll quickly take a look inside and go over the seating pattern and seating arrangement. Now, this is where the EV6 definitely takes a loss. When you're looking at the GT, you lose your power seats, your memory seats, and your ventilated seats. Eek. Mm. <laughs> but I'll have Mike hop in the passenger side, and I'm going to go into the driver's side. Let's have a look. So although you lose those powered options, you gain these beautiful sport bucket seats. So the bolstering on these seats is very, very stiff. This car, de or not this car, these seats definitely hold you in if you are doing some more spirited driving. The look of them, very, very sleek, very sporty, of course. We have a GT logo right in the center here and with this aluminum finish. And then you'll notice the green theme continues. So we have this neon green piping all along the seat and then stitching in the center. The center insert is a suede material, so again, holds you into your seat. You're not gonna be sliding around, and it's still fairly easy to clean, so don't worry about that. For our dash, we have two 12.3 inch displays. So this one, of course, is our driving cluster, so this is gonna project all your driving information. Sorry guys, that was the wheels. <laughs> uh, we have the vehicle on right now, so you can see our speedometer here, and then it's gonna give us the open door logo. Um, not logo, icon. Mike, do you mind closing your door just so oh, I can yeah. okay. make that go away? Go. <laughs> there we go. Boom. All right. And now you'll see on the right, we have our driving range. So right now this vehicle is at 98% charge and we're at 332. Now yesterday it was even better because it was a bit warmer outside. Keep in mind the rated range will definitely be much better. Your real world range will be better, that is, um, in warmer conditions. So in the winter, it will suffer a bit. And if you're driving it nice and easy in the spring, summer, fall, you'll definitely see better range. Um, the cluster itself is very similar to our regular EV6. What is different is this beautiful bright green button right over here. So I'm gonna press this and it'll put us into GT drive mode. So that'll disable our traction control and it'll amplify the acceleration on this vehicle. So it will literally fly. It'll take off. You'll feel all 575 horsepowers and all 545 pound feet of torque. Pound feet. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> pound feet. Um, another thing I really love that they kept in the EV6 GT is this beautiful wide sunroof. Um, one thing with the EV6 is it's very dark in here. We have this black headliner, a lot of black elements in the design itself. So having that extra light from the sunroof definitely brightens things up and makes it feel even more spacious in here than it already is. 
our cluster, or not our cluster, our center <laughs> console here is a floating console. So underneath here, we actually have a really good amount of storage. So whatever you need to put in there, it even has walls so you can put bags, whatever you need, and not have to worry about it flying around if you are doing some dynamic driving. I'm gonna use the word dynamic and safe driving. <laughs> um, here's our gear shift. So you'll notice in the Genesis, we're gonna have a very, very different gear shift. However, it's gonna have the same operation. So this is called a shift by wire transmission. You just have to apply pressure to the brake like you would in a regular vehicle and then twist it to whatever direction you'd like. So drive, reverse, and this is a perfect opportunity to take a look at our 360 camera. So this is directly behind us, your regular backup camera. That's your top down view. You can actually zoom in or zoom out here. There you go. And look how high quality it is. You can actually see the grouting in the tiles. You can tell if our floors are dirty, um, if there's anybody there, of course, that's probably more important. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll also have front and rear parking sensors. So if I were to pull up to that vehicle ahead of us, or if there was a wall or parking into your garage, it'll start beeping to let us know we're getting closer and closer and the beeping would increase as you get even closer. Oh, there goes our gimbal. <laughs> and, we, and, and we have a new gimbal yeah, we and just... still. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this. Let's go. Okay, okay, perfect. Uh, for our main screen, we're going to have a very, the screen size is the same in the Genesis. However, the uh, actual interface of the technology is very different. So this is just our Kia's um, software. It looks like this on its main screen. So it'll show your battery percentage, how much range you've got. We'll slide over. You can go to your EV menu. Here you can schedule your charging times. If you are using your vehicle to load feature, you can set how much percentage you'd like your battery to go down to, um, set your departure times and do everything that there has to do with charging. It even shows you your closest charger. So 1.2 kilometers away from us. And we'll turn this off. Um, under setup, I wanna show you guys something that's exclusive to the GT, and that is our custom drive mode. So we'll go to drive mode here, and then my drive mode, and you can actually customize how you'd like your vehicle to perform when it's in your custom mode. So if you want your motor to be in eco mode, but everything else to be in sport plus, you can do that. I mean, it's a questionable choice. But you can do it. <laughs> so you can customize it. It would make more sense to do Sport Plus, and that way you have a truly sporty way to drive other than your regular GT mode, that is. You still have your regular drive modes that come in all our other EV6s, so Eco, Normal, and Sport. And see how that changes the estimated range on the vehicle. So 341 in Eco, 331 on um, Normal, and then it drops down in Sport mode. All right. I think we should hop out and take a look at the Genesis. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more going on in the Genesis, that's for sure. <laughs> I will take the EV6 key with me so we can do a little key comparison at the end. So let's start off with the exterior. We still have 21 inch machine finished wheels. Hold on um, one these second. are the winters, correct? <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. So. No, wait. No, no these aren't the them. winters. We swapped them, yeah. Okay, there perfect. We go. Okay, so these are the stock ones. Yes. Last time we filmed this car, it was on winters. but. These are your stock wheels. Yeah, we're being optimistic, right? We're, spring is coming. Let's right? just switch it up right away. 21-inch <laughs> machine finished wheels. They look very, very nice, very premium. Definitely a different styling approach than the EV6. This one's going to have performance in the vehicle, but it's not going to be too flashy. Whereas this one, you'll see it on the street, and you know it's a performance vehicle. Yeah. Like those bright green brakes, they stand out, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> we'll take another look at the front. I just want to focus in on the camera here, but we won't focus too close because the car is a little dirty. <laughs> I'll just go right into the camera like this. Perfect. So there's there our front go. camera, and that plays a part in our 360 camera, of course. We'll come over to the side here. We do have these roof rails that are on the Genesis that we do not get on the EV6, so there's a styling difference. Your door handles, so they come out when the vehicle is unlocked, of course. Um, one thing I will point out that I don't love about the Genesis that I think the EV6 does a better job with, this is your charge door opener, opener port. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like how it's noticeable. I like when they hide it, like Tesla or the EV6, it's hidden into the uh, taillights. I like that a bit more just because it makes you know it's an EV, Even right? if you look at the Kona too, like some yeah. of the Hyundais, they have it in the front. Hold on, I think, yeah, open that up. Mm -hmm. Since we are going to show the trunk space, I'll pull out this mat because we do have, that comes with the vehicle. <laughs> protective weather mats but uh yeah i guess take. we can point that out so this vehicle if you are thinking of purchasing our genesis it does have a set of winter wheels on alloys and then full weather mats yeah around the whole thing so here is our trunk space on the genesis very very similar to the ev6 my only complaint is we lack those um 
handles to knock your rear seats down. Mm -hmm. They still fold down super easily, but you just have to go through the side door. So that's the only difference. We still get this cargo cover. And then underneath, we still have our level one charger, our tire mobility kit, and we actually get a bit more storage underneath here. You'll see these pockets here. The EV6 does not have that kind of room. So it's not huge, <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> we'll close that up. I'll hop in the driver's seat, Mike will hop in the passenger, and we'll talk about it. Now you'll see the difference here, guys. Oh, when yeah. Comparing the vehicle. <laughs> so we compared the outside, and I think, uh, I think everybody said the, the Kia won that one, and the inside, obviously, is going to be a different story here. Yeah. So there's a huge change, actually. I might actually take the camera because I want to show the seating controls on my seat. So I'm going to hop out again. And there's a lot of buttons going on here. <laughs> All right. So we have a driver knee extension right over here. So it's great for extra tall people. We also have, of course, the bottom of our seat, so we can drop this down. We can even tilt it, so depending on how you like to sit, and of course, raise it. This button is for your relaxation mode, so it'll trigger a screen on, of course, your main screen where you can set it to do what you'd like. Our backrest, and then our lumbar support and our bolstering. Sorry, I'm like totally out of frame. There we go. So our bolstering, you have to be sitting in the seat to actually feel it. You can't see it move. You notice the leather is also this beautiful quilted design pattern, and this is real leather. So no suede or bucket seats, but we have these very, very comfy leather seats. Yeah, I'm very comfy right now. <laughs> you are comfy. Yeah. You'll notice just everything in this vehicle is a bit more refined, not a bit more, it's definitely way more refined. So even our mirror controls, look at this, it's so sleek. So you turn it to whatever mirror you want to control, so your left or your right, and then you use these arrows, of course, to tilt your mirror, press the center button to fold them in. There's me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we got all our window controls here, and you'll even get a peek of the ambient lighting, so it's just in the door sills there. All your windows are automatic express up-down windows, and then we have memory driver's seat, so two different settings there. The sound system is a Bang & Olufsen sound system, and there's 17 speakers in this vehicle. I can't even find all the speakers, but there's 17 of them. <laughs> it's an incredible sound system, yeah. so I had the chance to play it, and it's if anyone knows you know, about Bang & Olufsen, it's like a reference speaker it's system. Premium, so you, yeah. yeah, you like hear exactly the way it's supposed to be listened to. You like, that's exactly what you hear. It's, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Check this out. So we have a powered steering wheel. So super adjustable. You can change the height and everything too, of course. Um, the EV6 GT, <laughs> you can still change it. It's just not powered, so it is manual. Um, both of these vehicles have our smart regeneration system, so regenerative braking. So that's controlled with these pedal shifters here, and they both have one pedal driving. It's called iPedal in the Kia Hyundai Genesis world. And essentially it's, yeah, one pedal driving. So it'll take you to a complete stop when you take your foot off the accelerator. And that prolongs a little bit of range or builds back power to your battery. Um, I'll talk about what's on the steering wheel because there's a lot going on here. Um, the steering wheel is also a completely different design and shape. Not shape, it's still circular, but completely different design <laughs> than our um, Hyundai and Kia steering wheels. Can I do wide angle lens? I guess we can't. But you'll see just more premium materials. We have our drive mode select here. So same position as the Kia EV6, but a different design. We still have eco, comfort, and sport. So we actually don't have comfort in the EV6. I don't know why I say still. But comfort is definitely going to be different in this vehicle. So of course an EV is going to be quiet, but this vehicle takes a ne next step up with even more um, sound noise and vibration finishes to make this vehicle definitely very, very, very quiet. Unless you're using your sound system, then you can make it very, very loud. <laughs> we also have this beautiful yellow boost button. So this is really the only sporty element you can see in this vehicle. Everything else just looks very luxurious. You press boost, you get a 10 second instant horsepower and torque boost. Think of it as an EV NOS button. That's the best way yeah. I can compare it. So just yeah, 10 seconds of pure joy. I, if you're driving with it, you'll literally feel the skin on your face just get pushed back. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's like being on a roller coaster. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. It even lasts at 10 seconds. I yeah. Just, like, <laughs> I just like said, oh, okay. Like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, so a lot of fun. There is no custom um, GT mode or Genesis mode. I don't know what they would call it, but we don't have that. But we do get the boost button, which we don't get in the EV6. Um, screens are the same size, just a very different style. So you'd see on the EV6, it had more of a rounded off finish. This one's definitely just a, it's like a huge rectangle. So our 12.3 inch display up here, which is essentially the same as the EV6 is, just um, the finish is a little bit different. I do like this landscape design a bit more. And you got your little Genesis in the center. Mm. So speedometer on the left, we got our charge. 
Um, so of course this one does have a little bit more range than the uh, EV6 by a little bit. And then, Mike, can you close your door again? Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I like to, you know, one foot out the door, always. <laughs> and then here we got our EV tachometer. So, of course, there's no engine, so there's no RPMs. But you'll see when we're in our charge when we're in our power band. Our main screen here, this is what the home screen looks like. So, no EV6 in the center, of course. But we got our location, our temperature, time, date, of course. And if you had media on, it would say what you're listening to. We'll slide over and look how different this looks. This is not like the Kia and Hyundai um, main screens. So it operates in the same way. You have a touch screen, which you can slide through and can select whatever you like, control whatever you like. But you also have this button, not button, dial in your center console that you can use. So this might be easier if you're on the fly, especially if you're someone who likes to sit further back and you may not be able to reach and you don't have a passenger with you. So it's very easy to grab this while still driving and of course having your eyes on the road, select whatever you'd like and then you just push down on this um, dial to select it. I will show you guys some things that are different. So let's go to seat, there we go. And this is what I was talking about earlier. So we'll go to driver's seat, your smart posture assist, which adjusts your seat a little bit as you're driving to give you a more optimal seating position. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that but it's pretty cool um smart support and comfortable stretch so here you can set the intensity and you can oh it's it's very very weird it's not a massage seat um i remember i drove a cadillac escalade for a while and the massage seat literally like i would be bouncing out of my seat because it was so powerful this is definitely much more smooth and very very subtle you don't feel it too too much but you know it's there that's for sure uh, we also have something that's very, very interesting in this vehicle, and that's face ID and fingerprint ID. So that works very similar similar to the Telluride's uh, digital key to touch in the sense that you scan your face on the pillar here. There's a camera. It'll recognize you, let you in your car, so unlock the car for you, and then the fingerprint scanner right over here will scan your fingerprint and allow you to drive. So it's a keyless way to drive. It sounds absolutely nuts. We don't technically own this car, so I can't put my face on here, but... Pretty cool. So it's face <laughs> and fingerprint, right? Yeah. Okay, because I have. Nuts? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's nuts. I was gonna say I have identical twin nephews, and I'm mm -hmm. like, well, that would be, yeah, you know, but would, the fingerprint, the fingerprint will <laughs> be different. Yeah, the fingerprint will make sure one doesn't drive it. Yeah. <laughs> so I spoke a little bit about the gear shift on the EV6, and I did say that this one's different. Now it operates the same, so we could put into drive just by twisting it over. Same with reverse. I'll show you the backup camera as well. So the camera is exactly the same as the EV6, same technology. But look at this. I'm going to turn the car off. I'll have Mike focus on the gear shift. This is so cool. You also got to show that 3D, the 3D with the camera. Like oh, how it yeah, shows yeah. the 3D of the car. I noticed that too. So let me turn off the vehicle. At least one window is open. Thank you. Thank you, car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that, but you'll never leave a window open again. <laughs> no, it's like uh, my own personal mom yeah. in here telling me what to do. <laughs> uh, so the EV6 GT had heated seats and a heated steering wheel. It's, we lost our ventilated seats while moving up to the GT. This vehicle still has ventilated seats and of course the power memory seats like I mentioned earlier. So Mike can have a cold seat on, three different levels, and so can I. Heated seat buttons right over there. Then we also have our parking camera button. I'll show you guys the uh, yeah, 3D. That is really cool. Yeah, so you can literally see the EV6 in 3D beside us. It looks like a monster car right now, but it's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, I think I played with that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? That's so cool. Um, there's just a lot in this vehicle. Mm -hmm. It definitely, it seems way more overwhelming than the EV6. The EV6 is much more simple. Um, it still has a lot of the same features. It's just laid out in a more simple way. <laughs> um, now we'll take a look at our climate control. So you'll see just everything on this vehicle has a more luxurious look to it, is what I would say. So just a, a couple of nicer finishes, that's for sure. Um, but all our climate control is through here. You can also change it on the screen, just like you can on the EV6. Um, I will point out our sunroof. So this is a fixed roof. You can't actually open the glass, but it does have a powered um, screen. So check it out. Meets in the middle. I love that. And you can stop it where you, wherever you'd like to. So if you want just a little bit of light poking through, you can stop it there, or you can open it all the way. If that's more your style. Um, one thing I'll point out quickly, I'll just take the camera from you, Mike. I can control the passenger seat. So this is great if you have people coming into the back and you just want to give them more room so I can adjust him. Oh, nice. Or if you just want to- Mess with somebody. Mess with somebody, yeah. Make <laughs> your passenger never come on a ride with you again. Great way to do so. I'll also show you guys the keys in a brief key comparison. So of course the Genesis here, really nice key. They're actually very similar sizes. 
a lot of people say that those keys look huge, but I think it's just my hands, they're small. Um, on the sides for the EV6, we got lock, unlock, your hold for your tailgate, and then our panic button. Then on the flip side, we have our remote start, our smart park assist to move the car either forwards or backwards. Then on the Genesis, we have remote start, park assist forwards or backwards, and then our charge door. Then on the other side, we have our lock, our unlock, our hold for our tailgate, and our panic button. So the same buttons, except the EV6 doesn't have a charge door button. Um, however, of course, I, I do like this one a bit more, but I like how everything's laid out on the EV6 key more, rather than wh which side see, is what I'm looking this, for on. Let's see in, in my hand if people think it looks, you guys let me know, does that still look big to you? I kind of, I don't, maybe <laughs> my hands are small. Maybe my hands are small. Maybe. <laughs> I, they're regular size keys, guys. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> like, they're pretty normal. I always compare it to, One like, window is open. that drives me nuts. <laughs> Tim's here. Tim's here to announce that we are going to both be able to have one, this car each. You take this. As our demo? Six. Yeah, oh. exactly. Yes. Yeah. I know the best part about this is we were test driving a new gimbal. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. So, we mentioned uh, so that. I scooped uh, my wife's gimbal. Oh, sorry. There you go. So Keep going. Life's gimbal, and this one has an extension on it, so hopefully it doesn't screw up on us because the last couple of times we screwed up. Sorry, it did. It twice. did. It did. <laughs> did it? It yeah. did. We, we'll figure it out, though. <laughs> we'll troubleshoot that. Uh, Abby didn't want the uh, the extra lighting on it because she said she wouldn't look. He, it he's going to expose. I gave her one too. I, I gave her a selfie she one goes, too. Please don't do that to me. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, tell me about, okay, so I think, I think too as well, you know, with, um, and obviously I'm going to go team, we're, we're, let, let's mm -hmm. draw the line in the sand. I have to, I have to vouch team Genesis a little bit too, right? Because okay. she's going to vouch team. Okay, okay. Team I Kia, realized but. I uh, didn't talk, since, since you said that, yeah. <laughs> um, I realized I didn't speak about the, Genes the Genesis's performance aspects. So let's talk about horsepower and torque. Of course, mm. it's very high. We have 429 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque. Now. When it's in boost mode, that gets amplified for 10 seconds, mind yeah. you. I actually wrote it down once. But it gets goes so too. fast. Without telling you guys, I just had to stay to the speed limit. <laughs> it's like you look down, you're like, oh, okay. It, you know? Yeah, it's hard to be a law abiding citizen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think with the car, I mean, you're showing both of these, right? And then you see the Genesis. It looks like a lot's going on. One thing mm -hmm. I noticed when I was driving it is just what it does for you, like the convenience part of it. Yeah. Like, when you hit the gas, you know, you can feel the bolstering, you know, the bolstering hugs you in when it's switching different modes a bit. And um, that, I guess, massage or whatever it is, it's actually really nice when you're on a long trip and you kind of have those going, you know, underneath where your uh, bum is. Mm -hmm. uh, and how many times I come out of my car, right? After, <laughs> a, after an hour and a half drive and I'm like, oh, my back. And this, not at all. You actually come out a little bit more relaxed. So I like that it's not an intense massage because I'll fall asleep, mm -hmm. right? And if the car doesn't tell me, hey, Mike, you're falling asleep, right? No more Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if someone asked, what's the price difference? The Genesis is priced at 79000 for the uh, performance. Now, that is also based off like a basic, basic one. Yes. Because some of the colors do have a premium charge. Same with the EV6. This matte paint is a $3,000 option. So that's that's definitely a price difference. Um, and the EV6 is priced at 74 Yes. GT. This one specifically online right now, this model on our site is 87 So it's at 87 right now, this one. So obviously a price difference. Uh, you know, you, you obviously get a lot of luxury too in the Genesis. So it's really, it depends. It's hard to compare, right? Do you want, you know, an EGT sporty, very sporty vehicle, or do you want something luxurious, but you know, has, has a hidden punch to yeah. it, right? See, that's the thing with um, the Genesis. It looks like just a very luxurious vehicle, and then you step on it and it goes. Oh like yeah. It, it's gone. Oh, yeah. The EV6, you can look at it and tell that's a performance vehicle. It's like looking at a Porsche or something. Yeah, you know exactly. what it is, right? Exactly, exactly. Genesis is like, if you guys are from my generation, it's a, it's a sleeper car. A sleeper right? car, a sleeper yes. Car. We still use that word yeah, now. Yeah, you pull up beside a, a Challenger and, you know, and they, they hit the gas and they, they go off and you go <laughs> hit boost. Sorry, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me scroll back to our questions. Hi, team. What features do you lose if you don't choose the model with the boost mode? For the um, Genesis, I believe you lose the Bang & Olufsen sound system. I think you also lose the ergonomic seat, so the massaging seat. Of course, you lose the uh, extra power. Um, however, you will gain a, a little bit of range. You'll still have a lot of the luxury features like the sunroof and the quilted seats. Uh, what else? 
I'll have to do some more research yeah, on that. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many little intricate details, yeah, right? Yeah, there's that, so much little things. I'm telling you, there's things about the Genesis we probably don't even know, and you've yeah. been researching it for days, right? So it's 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 a lot, but uh, it's one of those cars when you. You know, I think I think it's a good idea. We we actually have to take these two for maybe like a month. I think we'll tell Pat mm -hmm. <laughs> and then say that then we'll really learn it. But uh, I think I think you know. In conclusion, when we look at what you like and what I like, maybe we'll agree on this. Just take the interior of the Genesis and stick it in here, and we're good, yeah. right? That's yeah. a perfect the perfect model yeah. for us. So these two have a baby, and we're happy. I do have to say though, a lot of people are upset with the uh, lack of the power seat in the EV6 GT, and that's fair. However. It's performance, right? Yeah, so it's when performance. you yeah, when you think about a race car, they strip it down See, to nothing. The first right? thing I think of is a Porsche GT3 yeah. RS. There is not even a real logo on that car. It's a sticker. Mm -hmm. Weight reduction, babes. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all about all weight reduction. Performance. It's so, all performance. So, you know, putting yeah. all of that and those mechanics in there is going to make the car heavier. Yeah. Also, too, when you look at EVs and you look at Tesla, a lot of people following the same suit. Um, you know, you're sticking to the green part of it, right? So, so, you know, you kind of, you want to provide those luxuries, but you do want to minimalize as much as you can too as well. Mm -hmm. um, Angel said, is there a film on the rear glass that helps melt snow or ice since there are no rear wipers? So there's not a film on it. However, all of our um, rear windshields do have uh, heated tungsten burners on there that'll actually melt snow and ice. So it'll just slide right off. The benefit of these vehicles is they do have more of a fastback style to them so almost like a sedan yeah it's end. designed it just slides right yeah off. it's designed for you turn on the car you know it melts it between the layer of the glass and that and then, and then you'll have it slide off i would push it off not wait till you get on the highway so it hits the road in front of everyone behind you mm -hmm. um, but that's just me um hey mike can we do a road trip with the ev6 EV, gv60 and ionic 6 together sure Sure. Once I mean, we get the Ionic 6. Yeah, yeah, come on by. <laughs> I don't know how far that road trip will be, but, you know. <laughs> um, seems a well, little suspicious. Do they don't really look the same anymore. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, Are they talking about us or the cars? I have no idea. <laughs> I missed so many of the questions. Uh, someone said, how many cup holders and why the middle finger when sliding across the screen? I'm offended. I'm it's sorry. It's the longest finger. I didn't mean to offend to you. I was just trying to reach. <laughs> yeah, it's the longest finger. It was the first one to touch the screen. Yeah. Um, let's see. My sister lives in Vancouver and she found a Kia Sportage PGA for testing. Ooh, lucky her. <laughs> um, let's see. Lose the gimbals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get a, a head cam. Right, we just both get in and switch buttons when we're when we're both changing cameras. Oh my gosh, Japan Quake, I'm shaking right now. I got in a huge T-bone accident about an hour ago. The other guy ran a red light doing 40 miles per hour over the school zone speed limit. I got whammed into. Oy. First of all, I hope you're okay in getting medical attention. That's exactly. for sure. Second of all, why? Are you these two side by side and really surprised about oh, yeah. the difference because I didn't oh, yeah. really know too much about the Kia and I'm very impressed. It's just bizarre that these are un, like built from the bottom, the same vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if we're really going down to the bones, they are the same vehicle. Same with the Ionic 5. They're all sister vehicles. They're all family. Yeah, we compare Kia and <laughs> Hyundai a lot, yeah. uh, but there's a reason why this group owns Kia and a Hyundai dealership, yep. right? <laughs> um, so Hank said, same eGMP platform. Yep, so they have the same platform, they have the same battery. It's a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. Um, just performance is obviously very different. Um, Dale, I'm old too. I have, a, I have a thing where, you know, where I'm like, oh, I like the shifter, I like this, this, and that. Um, but I'm warming up. I'll tell you, I'm warming up, right? Someone said too many conditions, lol. I think they meant like from our intro. Yeah, we go through these intros, yeah. but I think a lot of people get the misconception that we're just a car review channel, but we're actually 
a dealership. So I do this video and then I go back to work. Yes, same so. here, same <laughs> here. I mean, literally after I do a video with a car we didn't have, right when this goes off, I actually then photo shoot the car yeah, to sell <laughs> and it, get it right? on our site. So it's kind of like a two in one when I'm here. Um, someone said sound is back. Oh, I guess the sound went away. There was a little lag too yesterday. Oh my gosh. And the, and the sounds too. Uh, it, it was like watching. Uh, How long was I talking without sound? Oh wow. Oh wow. Sorry guys. No, is it's this on. Totally it's off? on. Oh, it's totally on. Yeah, it's okay. it's on, but I don't know. <gasps> oh no. Um, Did we, were we out of sound for a while, guys? Or? Yeah, please let us know if we yeah, missed. Yeah, please let us know what we missed. We can just like rewind. No, we can't <laughs> rewind. Uh, can you give us a future video of a tour of the dealership? Absolutely. Of course. I think that would actually be a good video. Um, it's a small dealership. I will let you guys know that. Hank knows because he's actually one of our customers, but it's, it's a yeah, small if, one. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are, if you guys are interested in us doing a quick mm -hmm. walk around of both dealerships, you can kind of see, you know, the, the behind the scenes magic, yeah. you know, for sure. For sure we can do that. Um, someone asked, where's the old host? And I don't know if you meant like old, old host, which was Peter, or if you meant Pat, but Pat is here somewhere. He works, he owns this place actually. He doesn't just work here. Um, and then Peter, oh, as soon as you start talking to Japan quick, you kind of, oh no. Um, Peter, he has moved provinces. He moved around this time last year. So I've been doing these videos for about a year now. Um, thanks Gabby, I love my EV6. We love your EV6 too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember when you got your nails done. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Paul said... No sound back, okay. Uh, someone said, Gabby, what happened when the sound disappeared? We so... were just making sure Japan Quake was okay. Yeah. That's pretty much uh, what we were talking about. Yeah. Um, and then we answered a couple questions. But let's see. Is there any Genesis EV6 questions? Wow, I just scrolled so far. I don't know where I am anymore. Um, waiting time for a 2023 Sportage EX. So I would say a fair wait time is around four to six months. Which one is your company car, Gabby? Not, not any of these. <laughs> Neither of these. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of them. I uh, drive a Kia, but I don't have a company car. Pat, if you're watching this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just drive anything that's available. The so, silence you know, is so yeah. loud. <laughs> um, Paul Williams, you're late on the video. Yeah, Paul, you're late. <laughs> um, yeah, Gabby has a forte. I do have a forte. I love my forte, actually. Um, okay. I think, how far are we in this video? 36 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so nice. maybe we'll do one more question. Yes. Each? Okay. Yes. Pick a question. <laughs> uh None of these are questions. <laughs> yes. Um, Just great comments. Um, okay. A lot of comments. Love them. Uh, <laughs> any other questions you want us to answer? Any questions? <laughs> um, let's see. Pedal mining. You're welcome for including the Genesis in the video. We try and shoot what we have here, guys, and hopefully it does help you guys make a decision. You know, it's 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 a it's a you know it's a mass game. Maybe one of you guys we helped out during this video, and and that's great enough for us. At least one. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Someone said hit the uh, Dale said hit the like button, and I agree with Dale. Yes. <laughs> guys, please hit the like button if you're on. We have 83 people on right now and 49 lights likes. If we can bring that number up a little bit, mom, we'd hit be that so like happy. Button. Hit yeah. that like button, mom. <laughs> hit it. <laughs> Um, someone said, show us a tour of the showroom. I don't know if they're ready for that right now. Um, the only thing is if there's customers in there, we don't want to put them on YouTube without yes. them. Yes. See, what know? we'll do is, how about tomorrow? We'll do the last five minute quick little, I'll bring my quick skateboard life. and I can just, phew, no, we I'm can joking. do a skateboard through the showroom. <laughs> not me, not me. No, yeah. Maybe um, we'll take a couple minutes and we just got to make sure, <laughs> yeah, that the people are there that, and people that, uh, we don't want to put anyone on, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't want to be on. Um, let's see. When will Gabby be on a racetrack? Uh, apparently, so I was super excited that tomorrow was going to be 7 degrees Celsius and nice and warm. I could take my snow tires off. And then Mike said, it, it's going to be a snowstorm tomorrow. Yeah, I heard it was a snowstorm. <laughs> but you know what? The best job in the world is a weatherman because he gets paid to be wrong every yeah. day. <laughs> if there's any weatherman watching, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're sorry. Exactly. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know when we'll do a racetrack, but the weather's not looking too good anytime soon. Bruce, I'm looking forward to you getting that too as well. I mean, it's a it's it's a patient car to wait for. Anything, right? Electric, and uh, you're gonna love it. Um. All right. Lost Shadow Roblox said, my check engine light is on on my Forte and I took it to get it checked by a mechanic friend and it was a transmission code. I had the transmission replaced a few months after I got it um, and it hasn't given me issues until now. Anything to help? Unfortunately, I, I have no idea what is wrong with your vehicle. Um, what I suggest is, yeah. I don't know if you got a friend that was just a you know, like a standalone and independent mechanic. Yeah. Um, I'm always going to suggest bring it to the dealership, bring it to Kia, let them hook it up to their diagno diagnostic system. Especially if system, you're in yeah. warranty still too. Exactly. Definitely go to a Kia dealership. But as far as me diagnosing your vehicle, I have no no idea. Sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I always suggest that. I do know that, uh, I mean, I had a, I mean, I had a Mercedes before and um, an independent Mechanic, um, the diagnostic tool wasn't wasn't as in depth, so I'm not saying it's the same situation, but you you know it's it's good to check with the manufacturer. Yeah, um, I think that'll be it for today's live video because we did go a little longer than expected. Um, we will be going live again tomorrow, and then of course all of next week. So please don't forget to.